Hi, this is Tamara Rubin, Lead Safe Mama, leadsafemama.com. And today we are testing things using the reactive agent spray that's supposed to turn glowing green in the presence of lead. And what I'm demonstrating with these videos is that these reactive agent sprays do not work on a lot of different consumer goods. So you may um, use it and then think that you got a negative result, but I want you to proceed with caution as in many cases, uh, you are going to get a false negative. If you get a positive result, it's likely a, a true positive, but in some cases, um, a negative is a false negative and you won't know, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> and one thing you can do is you can look these items up on my website. I will um, post the link for the test results using XRF technology for this particular cup, uh, along with other videos we're doing, putting the link in with the YouTube video because we can have a clickable link in the YouTube video. So please subscribe to the YouTube channel and you can see more testing of consumer goods we've done. And we have over 4,000 articles on the Let's Safe Mama website with consumer goods test results, detailed discussions, whether or not something's a risk to use and that sort of thing. So this this cup made by For Life, can you see it real quickly? Mm -hmm. The the really annoying thing about this brand is this is advertised as lead free on the off chance that it might have been lead free I bought these as a birthday present for my best friend and um, and then I tested them and found out no they're not lead free in fact this is 541 parts per million lead in the glaze because this is a newly manufactured piece it's probably not leaching at the time of manufacture and might leach over time um, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the light so you, we can see the reactive agent test kit working or not working a little bit better. Um, and what happens is you shine the light and you might see some blue fluorescing. You might even see some little bits of specks of greenish, but they're not, they're not, um, we haven't sprayed anything. So those are more bluish. Um, that's not lead fluorescing. Um, and then when we spray it and if there's lead on it, we spray the spray. I always make sure that I've got the spray going in the right direction. And if if the reactive agent kit picks up lead, um, when you shine the light on it, it will glow bright green. So again, this is a mug that is kind of a teacup slash mug, tested positive for 541 parts per million lead. And if we shine this, we are not seeing any glowing green. So even though this is 541 parts per million lead, the reactive agent home test kit is not actually working on this mug. And that's what I'm expecting and seeing with a lot of the um, higher uh, lead items that are um, either glazed ceramic. So this mug is, is positive for 541 parts per million lead and it's not testing positive with the reactive agent kit. This is over 15,000 parts per million lead, not testing positive with the reactive agent kit. This is over 2,000 parts per million lead, not testing positive with the reactive agent kit. And this is over almost 300,000 parts per million lead and not testing positive with the reactive agent kit. You can learn more about this by subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can see items where the reactive agent kit does work and you can see it working. And um, there's also a link to the kit if you'd like to buy it, to try it out on items yourself at home. The main takeaway with this testing is that consumer goods really can't effectively be tested using a home test kit. Um, the home test kits work well on paint and they might work on some consumer goods, but not all. So just because it tests negative with the home test kit doesn't mean it's necessarily safe to use, especially for a vintage item and especially with something that you might be using hot or with hot or acidic beverages like a coffee mug. You want your coffee mugs to be lead free and I'll put some links to lead free coffee mugs in the uh, comments on YouTube as well. Thanks for being here. Please subscribe to the channel. Lead Safe Mama, leadsafemama.com.